Hey everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. It is that time again where the new update comes out. That is so cool and it's 0.7.0. We are getting so so close to a release. I am so excited about this one. Now this update adds a few new things which I really love. Let me place a wall first so I can show you what is new in this game. I'm so happy with this update honestly. I did expect a little bit more from a 0.7 but I'm actually quite happy with what they added to the game. So now we have a small round painting. It's actually really nice if you add something in it. It really creates that nice vibe you can have in your house. We also got a large round painting, which is very cool as well. Well, a tall painting. Now, we will see a lot of mixed up paintings in Bloxburg now. A lot of people will just put normal pictures in here and it will look so messed up. I'm so excited to see what will, what will happen when people actually start using them. That will be so funny. I actually would like to add a pig or something in a picture that is really stretched. I'm actually gonna try and do that right after I added everything new. There's a lot to talk about. Now we got these uh, exclamation marks also for inventory. I don't know why they changed it. The Halloween stuff is also gone which I'm quite sad about honestly but I'm so ready to change into the winter map. As you know I love Christmas and I love the entire Christmas vibe so I'm very excited for that as well. Now with this update you also get a new sofa again so we also have we already have a lot of sofas in the game so I'm quite happy with this. It's a contemporary sofa. I really like the design of it. It's actually quite nicely made but the most exciting thing to be honest well let me add a dining table of course first but we also have these types of tables. They're, they're just an addition for the nights stands and such we have already in this style. Now the thing that I'm most excited about are of course the bunk beds. I haven't seen them myself yet. They weren't in the test server before the update so wow there's one with a desk in here as well. Oh my god this is even more exciting than I thought it would be. Oh my goodness. Can you actually add a closet in here? Let me see. So storage. I'm oh my god. I, I haven't seen these beds so it's quite new to me as well and I'm actually quite happy to see what they did with it. So you can actually add a closet in this, paint it in the same color as the bed, like wait 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 that's not the same color as the bed, I want it the same color as the bed but okay you can add a, in here like so. Why is the back still brown though? Maybe it, it might change when I go out of Bilmo but honestly and you could put some decorations on the shelves here, you have a closet here, you can make really small rooms with a lot of stuff in it, can you actually create an entire desk underneath them as well, that would be so much fun you guys. Yes it snaps, oh my goodness. And then if you go to electronics, I'll show you the other bunk beds in a minute but I'm actually just testing something for myself and I'm very excited about this. Oh my. Goodness, that must have been so much work to make a bed and a desk underneath it. Probably a lot of work for Quep just to add that into the game, but I am so happy. Let's go out of build mode. Let's sit here. Let's play the computer a little bit. So watch you block, my fun goes up. This could be so cool for uh, for mood houses. My, my video comes up for mood houses very soon and the update wasn't out. So that won't be in it. Can you actually... Okay, you can you can sit on top of the bed. So you can go here to change your clothes, change your uh, age, whatever. You can go here to sleep if you add a shower right next to it and maybe a fridge right next to it. You can have an entire uh, loft thing over here in a two by two or a three by two, whatever. Uh, so that would be that would be actually really cool to have in a game. Now let me go back into build mode and I'm gonna show you the rest of the bunk beds, of course, because I haven't seen them myself yet. So this is more of a steel one. This kind of looks like an Ikea bed. I kind of like the style of it. You could add big windows beneath it or, or behind it. That's what I meant. And actually create kind of a loft. Oh, that would be so cool, you guys. And then this is a double one, but I think it also has room to place a closet in. Can you actually use a closet? I, I wonder. Like, is it necessary to place a closet in this one? And then you also got a tiny desk over here. Oh my goodness, you guys, this bed has just everything. Now you can't use the closet but as I showed you over here you can actually place a closet inside the bed of course and you could just do that with advanced placement. If you don't have that I am very very sorry about that. Now let's check out the other things. I still need to add a pig in one of these stretch paintings. That would be so funny. Now first let me go to build and let's see what's new here. So new here are the windows. Let me place another piece of wall of course. Now let me show you the new windows real quick. So um, I just need to create this a little bit, a little bit of extra space over here. All right, there we go. Now let me go back to build and I'm going to check over here. So we got this window and what I really would love to do over here is just take my stairs 
grab one of these ladders and put them inside the window like so if it works if it wants to work with me thank you very much and this is like a Japanese style thing I don't know if you if you know but if you ever go to a Japanese club or whatever you, you see a lot of these things in, in Japan you could make a Japanese thing you know what I mean I, I, I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about I'm not from Asia I've never been there so it's just something I seen in the West over here probably not even correct but okay I tried you know I just wanted to do something over here then we got the large round window as well so we've got an open and a closed one what could be really nice as well is if this is your entrance you can make a really, let me just make it a little bit smaller so I can fit it in between there. You can make a tree house and make you enter like this. That would be so funny if you go into your tree house and this is the entrance like so. That would that would be just so cool, you guys. I, I'm excited to make a tree house for some reason. With a bung bed in it, of course, because I'm really, really excited about this. Now let me find a nice painting of a pig because I really want a stretch pig in my house. So let me see. So pig. And I, I kind of want, oh, th this one is very nice. So let me let me get the stretch version of this. Will it actually add it into the painting? I, I'm not sure. Does it, does it do something? I don't think it did something. Let me, oh, I can't change my picture anymore. Well, that's kind of slow, but okay. Uh, something happened, but it was not quite, no, 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 my menu is frozen. Okay, I'm gonna have to report that one. Nothing got added into my picture, sadly. So I'm just gonna add a little piglet in the circular uh, painting. And I'm so happy that I can actually just add paintings like this and I don't have to go into everything else. Of course, no, it's just gray. I It's either my internet being slow or something wrong with the game. Of course, I'm gonna report this right after I film this video, but I wanna film this video first because you know it's very, very important to me to report you that there is a new update to the game. Now, we also got some background things that are added into the game, so let me go to options. If you go to options, you can change your language. I actually made the French and the Dutch uh, translation for Bloxburg. So if you are on a French one or a Dutch one and you see a mistake, that is my fault. I actually created these and I'm so happy to contribute to the game I, I've been playing for so long. I'm so happy I got the possibility to do that. I'm sorry if there's some mistakes in here, but I tried my best translating into French and Dutch. So if you use Dutch or French, that is my work. Thank you very much. Now we also have a setting. Um, Game data size 2%, plot data size 1%. Okay, so I can still build a lot, that is nice. But okay, uh, that's not what we're here for. You can also there is a setting for premium members where you can turn off the red chat. Red chat. That's what I tried to say. You can turn off the red chat and then you will be able to talk in a normal way. But I'm going to have to look for that one. If you know where it is, let me know in the comments for sure because I don't immediately find it. And I probably looked over it a couple of times. Title. Okay, title. It says title. Auto, premium or none. Now, if I have none and I type, I'm going to just say something hi then i'm gonna be white if i do title premium and i say hi then i'm red again so you can change that some people don't like that and i understand if all your friends are premium members it might be quite difficult to see who is saying what because everyone just looks the same so it's quite nice that you can turn that off as well then also different types of head are, are now supported so you can have a different type of head that's probably Preparing for Arthro to come to Bloxburg. I hope not because I still don't like Arthro. I'm very sorry But yeah, you can do that you can have a different type of head which is also always nice now This is all the furniture that has been added to the game for a 0 0.7 update It's not a lot, but I kind of feel like between 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 there actually might be a lot coming which is very exciting of course then there is one more thing to talk about and that is just a simple thing that they added to the game. If you go into build mode and you start clicking build, you have a block box category now. Do you have it? You also have it in decoration. So it's nice to have just one category with block box items. It's just nice to see that. Now that was the update. I'm gonna report the painting issue right away thank you so so much for watching enjoy the update i hope you enjoy it as much as i do hit that like button and please subscribe